Welcome back. I'm Mr. Nelson, and today our lesson is going to be on the parts of a comic. What makes a comic a comic? Uh, so we're going to learn some academic vocabulary, and then we're going to go in and use what we've learned. So let's start off with the first thing. What are the parts of a comic? So all comic artists start off with the blank piece of paper, which is what we have here. It's kind of scary. You can put it portrait or landscape. Doesn't matter. I'm putting landscape because it looks better on the screen. And we're going to start with the first thing, which is, and these don't have to be perfect. In my comic, they're not perfect. We're going to start off with these little boxes, and they can be any size we want. So we're going to start off with some boxes, and then maybe we'll put another box down here. We'll know more about what kind of boxes we need when we've written our story. But these are called panels. And a panel is that moment in time that we capture in our picture, this part of the story. So someone's standing here, with a big smile on their face and their hands up. There, that's that moment. So we have a panel and your comic will need to be divided up into panels. Then we have this space and it's here, and it's here, and it's here. These are called gutters. And what a gutter is, is a gutter separates moments in time. If this was all one big picture, it would be hard to understand. So here, we know that this happened first, whatever's happening here is second, whatever's happening here is third, then we go down to four. We know that all that's, all that's going on in that order. And the gutters help us define what is happening in the story in order. Now, the other part, and I'm erasing that for a reason, the other part are called speech bubbles or thought bubbles. And those, or they can be called speech balloons or thought balloons also. Those are the things that tell us what the character is saying. And usually what we can do as an artist is we can go ahead and divide this up into about into thirds. So this is one third, this is one third, this is one third. So it's divided into three equal parts. I'm gonna carefully draw a little line right there. What that tells us is this is where the words go. This is where the picture goes. So if I wanted somebody here and somebody here and they're talking to each other and they're happy about something, hands up, wee, their hands up here, wee, whoops, let's do it right. Okay, and get rid of that other thumb. Whoops, that is the right thumb. This is the wrong thumb. Okay, so what we would do is if this person's saying something, we would put it up here in a bubble. And over here, we would put maybe what they're thinking. It looks like a cloud and then has little dots. So we've got a speech bubble or speech balloon and a thought balloon and that's how we know who's talking and what they're saying and they usually take up when you're drawing you want to leave the top third of your paper for or your panel the top third of your panel for that space now the secret and we'll get into this again later the secret is to write your words first. Or type out your words if you're going to type it. 
because you may not know how much space those words are going to take. You might not know how much space those words take, so you write the words and then you put in the bubble. That's the easy way. But for our activity today, we're not going to do that. We're, we're actually, well, we are, but the start, we won't. So we've got panels, gutters, word balloon, or thought, speech balloons, thought balloons, and panels are a moment in time. Gutters are the space between that time and then what people say and what people think. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back to my camera for a second. Hello again. And I want to show you what your assignment is. Now, if you're in Seesaw, which means first through fourth grade, uh, you're going to see this. If you're in Canvas, you're all smart enough to figure it out. And if not, you can ask me. So um, let's go ahead and share my screen. Whoops, share my screen. Thank you. And we're going to share this. So now I'm sharing right now the window that has my seesaw part in, in it. And I'm going to go ahead and see, let's see if I can make that window a little bit bigger. There we go. Um, so this is one class's seesaw activity. So as you can see, someone's gone ahead and drawn it on paper and then taken a picture, which is great. Other people have gone ahead and drawn it, which is again, great. But let's go to activities. And you're going to see a new activity up here that says Comic Book Academy Practice Day 5. And a whole lot of words because Mr. Nelson just talk, 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 talks. And uh, what, what you're going to do is when you click on Add Response, you're going to get this, a blank screen. No, you're going to get a comic to finish. And what you can do is you can come up here and type in, and then move it to where you need it to be. And let's see if we can do anything else. Style, da, 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 da. classic, script. I'm gonna take that off and we can choose our, so we'll even choose comic. Blah! So now we've got the cat saying blah. Or well, that doesn't sound right, does it? Maybe a cat should say meow. There. So the cat says meow. I don't know what's going to happen in the, in the other four panels. And you might change what the cat says at the very beginning. But what you've got is you've got a comic that you need to finish. And you've got a week to do it in. So go ahead and also, if you want to, you can always go back. You could handwrite these in if you wanted to instead of typing them. I tend to use the thicker pen because it looks nicer. Um, you could also color the page in if you wanted to. That's going to be a little bit harder because when you do that, you cover, color over the lines. So you've got to make sure you, you stay within the lines if you're doing that. But besides that, go ahead and have some fun. Maybe this is a knock-knock joke. Maybe this is something else. That's entirely up to you. So today, we've learned about panels. We've learned about gutters, we've learned about speech and thought bubbles. We didn't learn about special effects, which is in the which is in the lesson, but that's okay. Special effects are pow, zap, boom, those kind of things. And you all know how to draw that kind of stuff. That's really fun to draw. So with this, you've got a comic to finish. So let's go ahead and see what you can do. Now, still think about your story, still think about your characters. You can write stuff down, that's fine. You can share it with me. But understand that you're not done with the comic yet. We've got, to, we've got to learn a little bit more before we get started in the comic. So have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And wash your hands.